It is Indiana in the Morning, presented, as always, by First Commonwealth Bank here on WCCS AM 1160 and FM 101.1. Well, we've got a lot going on around these parts this weekend, including the Chamber Expo and one of the exhibitors at the Expo this year, the Altoona Curve. And Nathan Bowen is the Director of Ticketing for the Curve. He's on the telephone with us this morning. And, Nathan, you're going to be here tomorrow morning along with uh, some friends from the Curve at the Chamber Expo. Yeah, Todd, thanks for having us on the air this morning. We'll be out at the Chamber Expo tomorrow. We'll have uh, our mascot, Loco, will be with us as well, uh, promoting the upcoming season. Hard to believe we're just about 70 days away from opening day. (laughs) Amazing. And uh, you folks actually are going to be back in the area in a couple of weeks, too, uh, for what has become now an annual tradition, the tryouts for the National Anthem and God Bless America. Yes, we'll be back on February the 10th, uh, that Saturday, over at the Indiana Mall. It's been great for us to be up in, in Indiana for these tryouts, and we continue to keep going there. This will be our third year in a row at the mall. We've had so many great uh, acts come out, and, and people can come out. They can sing. They can play different instruments. We've had brass instruments. We've had guitars. We've had individual groups. We've had choirs. We've had bands come out so really just a, an excellent group of, of just about everything that we can have and it allows us to offer our fans uh, some different things at the ballpark each summer so anybody that wants to perform they don't have to call ahead of time do they or do they no they wouldn't have to call ahead of time we'll be at the mall starting at 9 a.m and everybody can register there we'll start uh, the singing and performing will begin at 10 a.m and it will run till about noon is is what we've seen over the past couple of years, how long it usually takes. So, Yeah, so that's on February 10th, and, of course, tomorrow here for the Chamber Expo. Uh, Nathan, as we think about the Altoona Curve in this past season, winning the Eastern League Championship, of course, we always need to highlight the fact that uh, here in Indiana we're so proud of Michael Ryan. He's from here, and he was the manager of that championship uh, team, and he'll be back again this year. Uh, But uh, as the director of ticketing, Boy, this must be a great off season for you. You've got a championship team to tout. It's definitely helped winning the championship. Uh, we played longer too into September, so it's a little bit fresher in, in people's minds. We went an extra two weeks compared to when the normal regular season ends, and then of course um, the celebration of, of winning the championship was really great for us and, and for Michael Ryan, especially. He's done it now two years in a row because he won the championship in Bradenton before he came up here to Altino last season. Boy, oh boy, oh, Michael, he's on his way to Indy soon, I bet you. Uh, But uh, he's still got a a year here at least uh, with the Altoona curve, and uh, his his star is rising in managerial circles. Uh, But for you marketing this team and um, and being there for the ticketing efforts, uh, you know, we drive by people's gas field uh, sometimes in the wintertime, and and there's the snow on the ground, and we can see uh, into the stadium and see the snow on the field out there. But then we see the cars in the parking lot, and we say, you know, there's somebody in there. They're working right now for the curve, and, and uh, they're getting ready for this coming season. Around the ticket sales office, um, uh, talk about the, the amount of energy that uh, you're seeing because of uh, that championship season last year. It must be pretty good. Yeah, we spend a lot of time at the ballpark even – in the off season, sometimes the off season is is almost harder than the actual season. Getting everything planned for all seventy games, and we've had a great amount of energy uh, around the ticket staff this year, and we've sold uh, a surprising amount of of extra season tickets. And a lot of that has to do with with winning the championship, and that's really been a big help uh, for us. But not only that is we had a really young team when winning the championship. We didn't have a lot of uh, veteran double-A players. We had a lot of guys that were in double-A for the first time. So a number of them should be back with us here, depending on what all happens down in spring training here at the start of uh, this season as well. So we should be in a, a pretty good position uh, to try and hopefully get back to the, the championship again this year. It's always interesting to me to watch how minor league baseball works because – you get to September, and uh, Indy will have call-ups to the major leagues, and if they're still playing in the playoffs, then 
Uh, they have to have replacement players, so some guys will go from the curve who've been there all season long leading them into contention, and they'll end up in Indianapolis for the final weeks of the season. And uh, some fellows who've been in Bradenton come up, and, and they fill the role there for the curve. And some of those fellows helped to, in that championship run last year. So, you know, the way that works and uh, for for a team to keep it together and get it all the way to the championship, that's quite the accomplishment. And uh, I know everybody in Altoona must be really proud of everybody for that effort last season. It's really impressive the way it did work, especially for us towards the end of last season. Uh, one of those guys that we did get uh, promoted to us at the end of the year was Mitchell Pullman. He ended up hitting a walk-off home run in uh, our last game of the season to Mm -hmm. clinch the division title for us, and that really propelled us all the momentum from that walk-off game to a sweep over the Bay Sox and then a sweep over the Thunder. That might have been even more impressive than winning the championship was winning six games in a row against uh, two of the better teams in our league. If he's not on our team, we were already in the playoffs. If we don't hit that home run and win that game in, in extra innings, who knows, it could have been a different story in the postseason. Absolutely. All right, so you're putting together this season, of course. You're selling the tickets and marketing the team everywhere that you possibly can. Uh, and and I know that the curve always has great promotions coming into a season. What are some of the ones that you're thinking about now and, and that you've already solidified? Well, in addition to it being a season after we won the league championship, it's also our 20th season Mm. after starting back in 1999. So we took polls on social media and polls from our fans on who their favorite all-time curve player was at each position on the field. And we also added in a relief pitcher option and a manager option uh, for this year. And we're going to have a bobblehead on every Saturday of those players and Michael Ryan was actually voted in as uh, the manager. So he'll have his own bobblehead day <laughs> in April as well. So yeah, terrific. Boy, I guess we're going to hear some names from the past coming up. Uh, you know, I know who my votes would be. People are always going to vote for Adam Heinz do and, uh, and, and fellows like that. And Andrew McCutcheon, they all spend time in Altoona. It must be pretty exciting as, as a staff to look forward to, who is going to be passing through Altoona on their way to PNC Park in Pittsburgh? Uh, they, they might spend uh, a portion of a season or an entire season patrolling in the outfield or the infield or standing on the pitching mound for the curve, and you get to see that talent, that highly touted talent come up. Uh, as, as a staff and as a talent, I know that uh, folks in Altoona are really excited about the curve. Really, that's one of the most fulfilling things is not only when you see those guys uh, playing here, you have a chance to see them. But when you see what they are able to go on and, and do as well, whether it's in Pittsburgh or we've had a number of other players make their major league debuts in other markets. And when you think about the odds for the guys that start out at the lowest level of the minor leagues, how likely they are to get up even to, to double-A or triple-A a lot of times, let alone be able to get up to the major leagues, it, it's really impressive. I think we're just over 120 players that have come through Altoona. So it's really about six per season when you break it down yeah. in that or in those terms that have a chance to, to make it to the major leagues. So. Nathan Bowen is with us, director of ticketing for the Altoona Curve. They are going to be at the Chamber Expo tomorrow at the Indiana Mall. Um, and Loco is going to be there as part of their contingent. What are folks going to find at your booth? What's what's on the uh, schedule? I know you'll have baseball schedules there for them, won't you? Yes, we'll have schedules for the 2018 season. We have all of our fireworks dates set for next year, so those will be listed on the schedules as well. We'll also have information on our Kids Club, which is free. Uh, it's 11 free games uh, for the kids to come out to the ballpark. And then our Indiana County Night has been set as well, so we'll have information on that. And with that, it's a little different this year. Uh, We'll sell group ticket packages uh, for those nights, but a portion uh, of that money will go back to ICAP in Indiana County. So it's a way to to help out a local organization as well. Man, that's terrific, going to help that food bank. ICAP does such wonderful work. Well, Nathan, we're looking forward uh, to your visit to Indiana, not only tomorrow for the Chamber Expo, but on February 10th for the National Anthem thing. 
And uh, appreciate your time this morning. Go sell some more tickets now, will you? All right. Thanks, Todd. All right. We'll talk to you again. There's Nathan Bowen from the Altoona Curve. They are going to be at the Chamber.